I'm John Decker, PGA instructor, and all through the book, Golf is My Life, Glorifying God Through the Game. Today I want to work with you on your putting, and I want to talk about your putting mindset. And this is something that uh, I really uh, work a lot with students on, especially on longer putts. And what I mean by this is a lot of teachers, and I've, I've read this in a lot of magazines, where, where you're told to kind of putt to a three-foot circle um, when you have longer putts. Now from here to that flag down there is 60 feet. So the odds of me making this putt percentage-wise is probably less than 5%. So I don't have, the odds are not in my favor. But your mindset needs to be that you're going to try to make the putt. And the reason that you want to have this mindset is that's the way your mind works. Your mind does not work very well when you give it general information. You give it specific information. Just like when you give someone directions uh, in a town they're not familiar with, you give them specific streets to go down. You don't just say, well, go in that direction or go in that direction. Uh, that's not the way you do it. If you're trying to play golf, hitting the ball, for example, down the left side of the fairway, and you're not picking a specific target, when you're standing over the ball, your mind doesn't know what to do because that's not the way your mind works. Your mind works specifically. So when you're putting, you need to visualize, and visualization is being, and a lot of this is going to come through practice, but try in your mind, you want to try to see the putt go into the hole, even from right here. Now, there's, I know this is 60 feet, and I know this is uphill. There's not a lot of break here. So from a direction standpoint, um, I'm going to play it just a little bit to the left of the hole. But my main focus here is I want to feel the putt. I want to actually, when I'm in my practice swing, my mindset is to feel how much swing do I need to make to make this ball go 60 feet. I know that this is not going to work. And I also know that this is too much. So you've got you to, again, practice. So some of this is going to be practice. But when you visualize, visualize the ball going into the hole. Don't visualize the ball going into a big circle. Because if you do that, most likely, you're going to putt to the big circle, which means you're probably not going to get the ball to the hole. So you're going to come up short. And that's the most common mistake that people make. Now, I'm going to go ahead and here and hit this putt, and let's just see how I do with it. I made it. <laughs> it was going a little firm, but I made it. The ball went right in the middle of the hole. I'd be happy with that, obviously. That was my mindset. And I'm going to do one more. And I will, that putt was going, going pretty firm. Okay, so if it had not hit the hole, it was going to be by the hole. So I'm going to hit one more, see if I can get the speed a little bit better. Obviously, I had the direction down. This pot's going to be about six inches from the hole. So again, that pot, I would be extremely happy with that. Again, I'm focusing on making the putt. I'm not focusing on putting to a big, a big circle. Um, and there's been some research done on this. Actually, one of the golf magazines years ago, they took students and they had them from 50, 60 feet. They had them putt to a hole and then they had them putt to a circle and they found that they actually putted better when their target was the hole versus the big circle. They started coming up short because they stopped thinking about the hole and they started thinking about the circle. Learn to make your mindset that in, the, in what you're trying to do. So if you're trying to hit a drive, aim at a target and if you're trying to have a putt or make a putt, obviously get your mind so that you visualize the putt going into the hole. If you do